Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, RoboRock S4, coming at you with more 3D printing videos. If you like this video, please subscribe and like. PS5, I love you. What up guys, welcome back to the show. Sorry, I'll, I haven't been doing any e-bike stuff. Uh, been, I've been busy. Don't worry, e-bike's coming up. I'm doing the 500 mile review. Let's get into this right now. The Anycubic Cobra Neo, doing a nice review on it. Um, what do I say? I don't know. I'm doing a 24 hour print right now. And hang on. We've got our test prints. Yes, we do. So uh, let's get into this. So we got the Anycubic Cobra Neo. Um, we are ready to do a review on it. If you're looking for cure settings, then this is definitely the video you want to see. And I'm going to tell you how to plug it into Cura super easy. And I'll show you real quick. So let's dive into towers, speed settings, all that good stuff. Um, a little bit of setup, setup information. Uh, let's go close up and I'll tell you what to do for your calibration setups for your Cobra Neo out of the box. I don't know if this works for the rest of the printers, but if they're anything like this one, then yeah, it's going to be good. I know I talk fast. It's just what I do. So uh, when you're setting this bad boy up, um, you do your auto leveling, bam, done. Um, and then all you have to do is go to your Z setting, right here, your Z offset. Everyone's is gonna be different. This is what mine's set to. Um, you click on it and you'll see the exact ones. <clears throat> and it should be different every time you level your bed. I noticed it is still a little bit off one side or the other, so I think I'm gonna have to screw some screws down. This side seems a little higher than that side even after the auto bed leveling, but it's so darn close, so I just like screwed them and leave it. <clears throat> So setting this bad boy up, uh, the bed was loose. You see there's two nuts right here. See there's round ones on this side. There's nuts on this side. I'd tighten both those up until, you know, they were snug but not too tight, you know, where it moves, where you, you can twist it, but you know, you'll feel it as long as there's no shake in that bed. Also, these right here, loose. That one right there, with my finger right here. There's the other nut, you'll see that snug this gantry up so it doesn't wiggle and I watched a youtuber laugh my ass off like professional youtuber with shaking the head of this like I don't know what the deal is it's shaking I don't know you know and he has like other printers and stuff too and he's like it prints fine that's okay and like right in the instructions it tells you to make sure this head is snug <laughs> so there is another one it's on the bottom there's the two top ones but the snug ones on the bottom this side also you're going to check and it's um, right here. Oh my god, sorry. I wasn't looking at my camera, I was looking at my eyeballs. Uh, obviously. So make sure all that's snug, looking good. And so yeah, that's it. Bed snug, all the tires snugged. Um, you know, no wiggles, no jiggles. You're good to print. This, uh, there's a snug screw here for the pressure on this guy. You know, run a couple prints, see if it's printing okay. I did a flow test, mine was fine. Maybe give it a little yank. You know, if it, if it slides, you probably want to snug it up a little more. Mine was fine out of the box, but check that out. So let's get into these prints here. So, what we got here is we got the temp print. Now this is just generic PLA. Uh, I'll show you the brand. Run Better 3D World, RBD. That's it, PLA, that's what we got. 190, 210. So as far as the temps, I know, it was getting so messed up. I had my speed up a little high too in this. And I only print with uh, two walls. I know this looks like shit, but bear with me, the other prints are better. So calm down before you flip your shit. But temps, you know, 200 for PLA seems to be fine. Here's what you guys wanna look at, speed test. Okay. <laughs> So, if we look close, we got 50 speed, it looks pretty good, 70, 90, once in, you can start seeing this ghosting, oh my god, all the way up to 150, almost like ghosted into itself. It looks okay from this side, but when we turn it, you'll see other ones. But yeah, like, 70's pushing it, honestly, I found 70 is pushing it, so I've been running at like 65. We'll see how that turns out with this 24 hour print we're working on right now. But if you do it at an angle here... You will definitely 
Bear with me, let's find this angle with the sheen. This doesn't pick up very good in the camera. You can see further ghosting, just barely though. Man, it's so hard to pick up on the camera. In the back you can tell. Here you go, you see how small... Oh my gosh, let me get my finger out. And then as you go up... That's the way the ghosting looks on the front too. For me, for my real eyeballs... You would think 4K cam would be a little better than this. You can kind of see it. But there's your speed test. And what test is this? This is retraction. So it's set to 6 out of the box. And 6 and 5 and 4 and 3 did the worst. I set it to 2. Even though 1 is probably fine. But I just went ahead and put it to 2. And you can see the difference inside here. Let me get a good close up. Look at all that. I mean, one is definitely the best. Maybe I'll change it to one. And once again, my speed was up to 70. So the, the base here is a little fucky. But two just looks so good. I mean, but the inside, one looks... I mean, it's so close. So retraction, one to two, you know, pick pick your poison there. And what tower is it? This is the flow tower. So you can really tell. So uh 110, yeah, flow tower was crazy. And remember, keep in mind I only use two walls, but I set them to five in Cura. So I don't know if three walls would help, even though it's gonna it's the same thickness. So that beats me. And don't worry, we'll show you how good this thing can print. Hang on. All right, so we've got speed 60, retraction two, flow, we kept it at 100, temperature 200. We've got a little bit of crack in here, but that could be for anything, you know, the, the nozzle drug. And this is the hardest part where it just kind of hovers in thin air. <laughs> so, I don't know. And you can see where this line transferred through. But like measuring this, it is dead on. So tolerances, super good. Here, I'll check it. So right there at 20. For the, well, I guess that's not the Z, it's the X and the Y, right? And here's the Z. It's just like, just, just, just past that line of 20. So just slightly big, you know? Not even a millimeter, you know? Like a quarter of a millimeter, maybe. Let's check tolerances real quick. And, you know, overall looks. Remember this was 70% speed. Or 70 millimeters, excuse me. But as far as tolerances, yes, please. Everything drops in nicely. Yes. Good tolerances. One more side note, belt tension. Belt tension is important. You don't want to over tighten your belts. Over tightening your belts is as bad as having a loose belt. All you want to do is look at your belt. If you see your belt where it kind of bunches when it goes one direction or the other, that's a loose belt. You want it just snugged past that point. If you see your belt with a little poof when it starts moving one way or the other, that that er 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 er, if it sees if you see it loose, then you tighten it. Any tighter than that, and you're gonna you're gonna stretch your belt, and it's gonna be bad. That's all you need. Just 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 that tight. It's hard to explain. I'll di you can dial it in. You'll figure it out. You'll get used to it. That is a very good tip. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to add the Cobra Neo. So you're going to go to... Uh, you're going to click on printer name, I guess. And then add printer. 
or you can go to I don't know it should have you add a printer if you have never done it before and you've downloaded it so when you click add printer uh, you're gonna go add non-network printer and then you're gonna go down to the brand which is any cubic any cubic there you go and then it's gonna try to put it on that one I guess uh, just click Cobra that's all you have to do and then click add and then um, you're gonna click here and you're gonna go uh, um, manage printers and then you got the Cobra machine settings all this stuff is already set correctly like with the with the what I showed you it's all already set correctly so you got 222 millimeter width you got 222 depth you got your Z height 252 <clears throat> mine's 252 um, at least well we're gonna double check after this print because um, I think I set it to 145 is the 24 hour print we've got going on um, you got heated bed all that good stuff um, Print settings, X min minus 20, Y min, blah, 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 G code is all fine. And you can mess with G code. Here's where you can get to your G code if you ever want to do G code modding, which I probably will do. Hopefully, if I figure out a G code I want to put in here. <laughs> I don't know. If you know any G good G codes or find any that you think I should put on my printer, let me know. I haven't really done a whole lot of research, but I'll check out the comments here and there, even though I'm sure there's going to be a lot of mean ones. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. And now I have to delete one. Maybe this would be a learning experience for all of us. Um, manage printers. This one. Can I delete it? Remove. There we go. Yes. I renamed mine to just Cobra Neo. So, uh, feel free to do the same or name it whatever you want. And that is how you add your any cubic Cobra Neo to Cura. Uh, if you want to see my settings, let me know. Otherwise, let's get to that 24-hour print, baby. Well, good morning and fuck it happened. Damn it. Look at that. It's horrible. What in the hell is going on with this printer? Looks good up to there, right? Nah, it still looks like shit. I don't know what was going on. I mean, this this is in there good enough, that's for sure. Can't pull it out, so it's, it's extruding properly. Maybe the speed was too much for it? I don't know. We're gonna have to do round two, I guess. Shit, that really sucks. It was like halfway there. All right, at this video, at this rate, this video is not gonna come out for like 10 years. So the new 24 hour print, um, doing good. It is, uh, we're on the last few hours here. Been printing for 22 hours and 10 minutes. So we'll see what happens in the next uh, few hours. I think it's over a day's print, but um, so far, man, not a hitch. Looking amazing. Look at that. You can kind of see those little textures in there, but you know. That's normal. It's all normal. It's looking really good though. This bad boy is thick, man. It's a knitting bowl. A big old hefty guy. Alright, peace. I'll be back. Alright guys, so we're done with the 24 hour print. Uh, as you see, it looks great. You can see where the supports were. I took the supports off, so a little bit of cleanup right here and here. Um, but like look at that look at that. I mean, that's actually pretty good. I mean It looks really good. Honestly, like I wish it looked more like that all the way through but like I said I only did two walls so maybe three walls would have been better um, A little splitting here But yeah. guys and if you have any questions about this 3d printer Please put them down there so 
I can address any questions or comments or concerns that you have about this 3D printer. So have a great day, my fellas.